on my way home. four days post-op from my knee replacement surgery and I just wanted to give you an update. I'm not sure if this is what everybody comes to expect or or not but I thought I'd just let you know what's going on with mine. So the first couple of days right after I had surgery, so I had surgery last Wednesday. Thursday still had a lot of you know heavy numb feelings so I guess the epidural was working the nerve blocks and holy smokes come thursday when i went home oh my gosh i just had the most severe pain it has been so difficult getting around and you know just doing anything it's so painful putting any weight on the knee but yesterday i did have physical therapy come to the house they gave me some exercises very, very hard to do. I was up to like 30 repetitions on all of my exercises at physical therapy pre-surgery. Now I'm up to five. <laughs> so it's a big change. Um, so I guess the even with the epidural, the nerve blocks, the Lovera injections, it's still a very painful process going through this knee surgery. So anyway, I am, uh, you know, doing everything pretty much myself. I'm getting dressed, still showering, able to get up, go to the restroom, all of that. But it's a very hard process. It takes me a good five, ten minutes just to walk down the hallway with this walker. It's very painful. But um, it's a little bit better than yesterday. When I say little, like a a hair, one of these hairs better, that's it. <laughs> so I do think this is going to take a little while to get over it. Um, we'll just see what happens. I'll keep you updated. This is a really short video. I just wanted to let you know how I was doing. And if you're thinking of going through this, what to expect, just know there's going to be some pain involved. You've had a lot of work done on a very, uh, you know, a very small area and they've basically taken everything out, replaced it with new. There's just been a lot of, of, you know, heavy stuff done when you have a knee replacement. So it's not something that's going to feel better overnight, even with all the stuff. Now they did give me a lot of pain pills. Um, I'm just going to show you this because it's kind of funny. I actually made an Excel spreadsheet because I had so many things to take. Holy cow. So I am trying not to take the oxycodone any more than I have to. I haven't taken any today at all. I did take some yesterday. Um, I'm trying to do more of the Tylenol, the muscle relaxers, that regimen. And as long as I can and I'm getting through it and I'm able to do the physical therapy, I'm going to try to go that route. I don't want to take any more high, whatever it's called, oxycodone than I need to. Um, I just don't want any problems with it down the road where I become any way dependent upon it. So anyway, um, my advice would be, Push yourself, continue to push yourself. Don't overdo, but push yourself as much as you can. Uh, keep moving every couple hours. Get up, walk around, even if it's just a matter of walking 20 feet. Just walk around, sit back down. Take your, uh, you know, if they give you Tylenol or anti-inflammatories, anything like that, take those things. Take whatever you need to get yourself feeling better and work hard to try to do your physical therapy. So that's what I'm doing. I will give you an update um, as soon as I can, let you know when I'm doing better, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.